It bubbles, floats, runs, drips, sparkles, full of energy. People need water to live. Extreme weather conditions, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, all natural disasters cause enormous destruction. Sludge, debris, and corpses pollute drinking water. Diseases and epidemics can spread quickly. In order to provide the affected people with drinkable water, powerful devices are needed. However, transport, installation and commissioning of the systems take several days, and these actions require a lot of manpower and cause high costs. Many places need help, but a device with a capacity for 50,000 people is not operated in a village with only 500 people. Therefore, they are placed at central locations. Remote regions with few inhabitants remain unserved. In addition, there are other problems that hamper the drinking water supply of many small towns. Often the infrastructure is destroyed. The energy supply is cut off and there is no access to fuel. Under these circumstances, no device works. Out of necessity, these affected people drink contaminated water or help themselves with their own makeshift solutions. Thus, most of the harmful bacteria and viruses survive. At the University of Kassel, at the Department of Sanitary and Environmental Engineering, Professor Frecken has found an excellent simple solution to these problems and has worked it out together with his research team. Wir sind ja notorisch neugierig an der Hochschule. Wir haben diverse Dinge ausprobiert und wir haben uns überlegt, was kann man mit Membrantechnik noch alles anstellen außer Abwasserreinigung und kamen auf die Idee, Oberflächenwasser, was womöglich mit Bakterien belastet ist, durch Membran zu filtern. Das war eigentlich der Anfang der Paul-Idee. Das Wasser, das dreckige Wasser, kann nur von außen nach innen durch diese Membranhaut. Und aus diesem Inneren der Platte kann es nur an zwei Stellen raus. Hier oben und hier unten. Und jetzt haben wir 50 dieser einzelnen Platten, die alle mit einer Membran belegt sind, hier zu solch einem Block zusammengefasst. Das Wasser fließt durch die Membran in diese zwei Kanäle und dann über diese Leitung ab. One pole produces 1,200 liters a day and often much more. But this is the affluent, so... It can provide 400 people with drinkable water in cases of emergency. Also, Paul is already supported by operators of large water supply systems. I am convinced that this device can come to the Einsatz kommen kann, wo any situation is in Pakistan. That means the drinkwater, the usual, can be used. And here are of course devices die möglichst einfach zu bedienen sind, ohne elektrische Energie das liefern, was man braucht, nämlich genug und Trinkwasser. Paul weighs 23 kilograms when empty and can be carried on foot over long distances. Was? Das ist so wie hier. By four simple pictograms, Paul is very easy to use. Paul shows with easy operation and excellent performance, so that it can also supply underserved remote regions permanently with drinkable water beyond the disaster situation. The membrane filters out almost 100% lethal and pathogenic bacteria. Even viruses are filtered on a high level. We need more Pauls. 
Ich könnte morgen sofort 100 oder 200 äh, noch einsetzen. Die Geräte sind einfach super, laufen ohne Strom, ohne Chemikalien und sie bestehen ja quasi nur aus einem, einem viereckigen Kasten, der leicht zu transportieren ist und der auch mal einen Stoß vertragen kann. Und wir haben in keinem der Dörfer Krankheitsfälle wie Hepatitis, Cholera oder Durchfallerkrankungen. On-site measurements concerning the hydraulic and microbiological performance and investigations on the deinstalled module have confirmed that Paul is also suitable for this long-term use. The economic lifespan of the continuous operated membrane is about 10 years. And this with minor maintenance. Paul is already successfully in use in 50 countries. <laughs> Ich bin nicht mehr